Before we get into a lot of the programming, let's just take a look at the flowcharts and the master plan. So this is the brain program. As you see, it begins when the message started is being received. So when it receives started, it's going to ask some questions. And the questions are also known as decisions. There's decisions to be made. There are three decisions. And they look like diamonds. So you see the diamonds. There's, and they all have yes and no by them for Y or N. The first question that's asked is, is the color blue? This says the following. Is the color sensor detecting blue line or blue tape? If yes, then it'll print going to the screen of the robot. It'll set something called on blue equals zero, and it will broadcast go forward. Go forward is a sub-program which is in the drivetrain, and that's going to turn the wheel so that the robot goes forward along the blue line. Now the other two questions that are asked is that if the color is not blue, then you have to decide whether to turn left or right. So if on blue is a one, then you're going to broadcast search left and the drivetrain program will turn left. If on blue is two, then you will have the robot turn right. So in other words, on blue is a variable. A variable is a thing that can take many values. Many of you have seen some of the Halloween LEDs that are out there that are lighting up ghosts and candles and things like this. One little LED light can take the value of blue or it can show yellow or it can be white. So an LED is like a variable. It can show different lights or have different values. So we have variables in computer programming that can take different values. So we will set these values in our program as you'll see. But the main program, which is the brain, makes decisions based on these values of whether to go forward, go left, or go right. So let's take a look at the drivetrain program. If the brain tells the robot to go forward, then notice the drive speed is set to 40%. This is on the left hand side. And then there's another question being asked or a decision that has to be made. It keeps checking. Is the color still blue? Is the color of the line that the robot is following still blue? Does the color sensor still detect blue? Yes. If the answer is yes, then you'd keep driving forward. If the answer is no, then you play an alarm. You'll print no blue to the screen. And then you'll drive a little bit forward so that the wheels can align up to the tape. The color sensor is way ahead of where the wheels are, the center between the two wheels. So in order to turn and keep on the uh, line, all the lines are going to be at, at right angles or 90 degrees. So you will have to drive the robot forward and then turn. Now, the offset is another variable which you'll set according to your robot. We'll set that in the gyro program. And uh, so I just got something like 10 millimeters plus some offset because it's got to drive forward at least 10 millimeters. And then you'll have to figure out what the offset is, how much further it has to drive so that the wheels line up to the blue tape. And if you look at the robot that I show when I videotaped it, you'll see that the robot actually moves up before it turns. Then after I finish, I set on blue equals one, which means I want the robot to turn left first. So the way we've written the program is the robot always turns left when it doesn't detect blue. It's got to turn somewhere. Okay, so on blue is one, and then it says broadcast started. Well, that means we go back to our brain program, go forward pro program, set on blue one. And yes, it is one, so you'll broadcast search left. So right away, it leaves the brain program, goes to the drivetrain program, and here in the middle is search left. When the message search left is is retrieved, then you turn to the left by 80 degrees, oh, after setting the turn speed of 60%. The reason you turn left 80 degrees is that when you turn, the robot might keep turning even though the gyro is telling it um, that it's, say, 90 degrees. If you say 90 degrees, it's going to turn a little bit more than 90 degrees. So 
I found out with Vexi, if I turn 80 degrees, if I put 80 degrees for the gyro, Vexi will actually turn 90 degrees. Then I set the variable on blue equals 2 because if I don't detect blue tape or a blue line, then I'm going to have to turn and look on the right hand side of the tape. So on blue 2 will be right. Then I go to broadcast, start it again, I go back to the main program. Here I check, is the tape blue? So if you turn left and the color is blue, then it doesn't matter that the variable on blue was set equals 2. It'll just go yes, it'll go print going, it'll reset on blue to 0, meaning we're going forward, it'll broadcast go forward, and we'll go here, and the, the robot will keep going forward and keep driving forward until there's no blue tape again. If, after you turn left, the tape isn't blue, then, of course, it's a no for this first question. Then you go down to where on blue equals 2. Yes, it is. You broadcast search right. Again, look at the videotape of the robot that I've made. Then, the drivetrain program search right. Again, sets turn speed of 60% and then it turns right 160 degrees, which is really 180. In other words, it, it turns 180 degrees from where the left side was, and that will be the right side of the tape. And it'll broadcast start it again. And, and this time there should be a blue tape, so the color will be blue and it'll go forward again, and it'll keep going forward until it runs out of tape, at which point it'll turn left and, or right to search for the next blue tape. All the tapes and connectors are at right angles. The last thing we can look at is the gyro program. So here we start. We calibrate the angle and rotation of the gyro. And remember, it takes four seconds for the robot to calibrate. So you have to wait four seconds. Then it plays a chime to let you know that it's ready to go. It sets the on blue variable as zero, meaning that it's going to drive forward first, uh, if the detector actually detects blue. The offset is 80 millimeters, so for Vexi the offset is 80 millimeters, so 80 millimeters plus 10 millimeters is 90 millimeters, or in other words 9 centimeters, that the robot will drive forward after running out of uh, blue tape, so that the wheels will align so that when it turns the color sensor will be on a blue tape that's either on the left or the right hand side of the forward going tape. Then you broadcast start it. So these are the flow charts, and again, you don't have to do these, but just take a look at these and, um, and try to understand how the program works. Now, when we look at the actual programs, you'll see that it follows very much the way the flow charts are. The brain program, you start. There's three if statements. They're conditional. They're called conditional statements because here's how you read them. If, look at the first one. The color sensor color is blue. Then clear the LCD, print going, go to a new line on the screen, set on blue equals zero, and you broadcast go forward. So if the color sensor detects blue, then the robot will go forward. The second if then else statement or conditional statement says if on blue equals zero, then you broadcast search left. So if the variable on blue is one, I'm sorry, uh, one, then you turn left. The last conditional statement, or, or if then else statement, is if on blue equals 2, you broadcast search right. Then looking at the drivetrain program, it's exactly the way the flowchart is. If you receive go forward, the robot goes forward until a blue sensor does not detect blue. Then it gets out of the while loop. No while the color sensor color is blue, equals blue, drive forward. As soon as the color sensor does not detect blue, then stop the motor, get out of the while loop. It's called a while loop because it keeps repeating it as long as the sensor is blue. You stop, you play a sound, you print something on the screen, you set the drive speed to 40% again. It's really not necessary to do that twice. Then you drive forward 10 millimeters plus the offset, which for Vexi is 80 millimeters. That'll line up the robot so that when it turns, it will turn either left or right and the sensor will be aligned with the blue tape. Set on blue value of 1 because, heck, heck, you've just run out of tape, so you might as well turn left first. Then you broadcast start it, and since on blue is 1, it'll turn left.
and so forth. Take a look at the video of the uh, robot and then look at these and you'll be able to understand how it works.